How's it going, guys? Uh, I'm going to try something a little bit new here. Um, I've been throwing knives quite a bit lately, and uh, I have not played with my fan for quite some time. Uh, it's a pretty warm day, actually, uh, so it's nice to have something here to cool off with. But what I really want to do is I want to see if we can come up with some cool, creative ways to conceal throws using the fan as a distraction and as a visual blocker. So let's get creative. This is my first time doing anything like this. So let's give it a try. So to start out, I think we're just going to try basic overhand no spin with the fan in my offhand and uh, see if we can kind of get a concealing effect here. So for this, I'm going to just use one knife for now. So here's my idea. The knife is hidden. I just got my fan out and I am concealing my throw behind the fan just to kind of block what I'm what I'm doing. So let's give it a try. Let's play around with the backhand no spin. Now this throw in concept could be a little bit easier to hide because we could just be here like this. I mean I'm looking a little sus, I won't lie, but the nice thing is the throw could just kind of come right out from underneath the fan, like so. Okay, now let's just see if we can get some cool points here and get into a nice deep stance and flourish after a throw. <laughs> Alrighty, now let's come up with something for our underhand throw. But what that will be exactly. Truth be told, underhand is already a lot more of a stealthy action than the um, telegraphing of the overhand angles. But for the fan to provide further concealment, obviously it's going to have to somehow be covering low. However I decide to do that, I'm not sure. And the knife is just simply going to come up. So in context, I'm not sure. But let's see what we can come up with. coming from okay so what's going on from behind I've got the fan in the normal open position with my thumb here as it normally would be I have my knives stacked and I'm just gonna place them right there where my thumb is at nothing weird about this just hanging out <laughs> and as I get ready to throw I take a knife out, my thumb comes down, and pinches the rest back in place. And just generally kind of keeping the fan, blocking the field of vision of what I'm doing here. And then just throw normally. So that's the concept. Uh, we'll give it one more try. So I think that'll do it for this video. Um, yeah, this was definitely kind of a, a, a random, interesting sort of a thing to explore and play with today. Uh, the fan has always kind of been an interesting thing to me because it does have a quite a long history of being used as a weapon in both Japanese and Chinese culture, which is interesting because in its closed form, you do definitely have the close range strikes and um, a certain degree of locking and controlling potential and things like that that you could do with a stick of this size. Uh, but in its open form, what really stood out to me is it has potential to be very good at concealing things and, and being a, a good visual distraction. So even if you had so much as a regular knife in the, uh, the other hand, all your slashes and cuts and stabs could be quite, you know, a, a pretty nicely concealed behind this. So I just got the idea today, well, why don't I try concealing some of my no spin nitros behind the fan and just kind of see what I can come up with. And that's how I kind of got this random idea. So yeah, that was that. Uh, another thing I want to mention 
um, real quick is that a few of these shots that I took here today took multiple takes. I can't. I wish I could stick as consistently as it seems like I can in the video. <laughs> I, I'm getting more than not. I'm getting better, but yeah. So I just wanted to put that out there. I'm not sticking all of them that consistently. My gosh, I wish. Someday though, maybe I will. <laughs> so I'll digress on that note, and hopefully you enjoyed the uh, the ride with me, and look forward to more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.